Can everybody hear me? Is it too loud? Too? Well, we're going to go through it. Um, I'm so happy to see everybody here. It's been a mad ride. Everybody who do a conference knows it's a mad ride, and the first year is the maddest ride of them all. So uh, I'm really super excited to see you all here. We're going to be more people coming in on bikes all the way to Dortmund today. So um, I want to thank all the speakers, all the hosts of the breakout sessions, all the partners, of course. You're going to get a full thank when we close the conference tomorrow. But uh, just to say that this wasn't, it wasn't possible without all your help, and we are so grateful that we are making this happen with a lousy budget and in the midst of financial crisis. So thanks to everyone, and we're going to be thanking you in the end as well. Um, nobody has missed that we have an election in Denmark at the moment, but what we are doing today is actually about not waiting for the politicians. We've been waiting for politicians. We've been waiting for financial bank packages. We've been waiting some for a new government. Some hope the existing will continue. We're not going to wait today. We're going to try to get together uh, during the days to find new solutions on how we do business in the 21st century. We're going to do uh, a lot of breakout sessions on day two on how to find more constructive ways of growth. So uh, we're not going to wait today. We're going to take it into our hands. We are around 250 people gathered here. That's a critical mass for changing uh, a lot of things, uh, at least locally in Denmark. But the conference is not just about inspiring and being here together. It's also about producing stuff. So every breakout session uh, is a playground, is a work camp. So I want to get you in the mental mode of not thinking about Rebuild as a conference. We're going to have speakers, but what is the essential part is we're going to produce a lot of stuff and we're going to share it with the rest of the world. So every breakout session will have an output. You're going to be there out working together in groups in about an hour. And focus on, of course, having a good time, saying hi to everybody in network. But the essential part of the breakout session will be to produce inspirational cases for 21st century business. Of course, also the barriers, because if it was so easy to imitate Google or Nike or Lego, we would all be doing it. But what is essentially uh, the stuff? What are the barriers? What are the recommendations for people moving far forward? That's essentially what we're here for today. Some people still claim we're in the midst of financial crisis. Um, I started up a leadership network called Leader Lab, uh, where we gather around 100, um, primarily of the big companies in Denmark. And during the last two years, we've been discussing all kinds of issues on open leadership, social business innovation and stuff. And what became clear for me, at least half an hour, uh, I should say half a year into that process, was that what we're facing, in my view, is not a financial crisis. We now see the double dip. Um, what we are facing, in my view, um, is a meltdown of politics, of the way we do business. And I think we see both a social, a moral, and an institutional meltdown of the way we've been doing politics, and actually also business. So what we are here for today, at least in my view, and, and the motivation for making Rebuild, is kind of like to dip deeper, deeper uh, and discuss the very fundamentals and the cornerstones of 21st century business. So I hope we will get below the surface, below all the cost reduction, the leaning process, and look fundamentally about what we're doing, why we're doing it, and how we're going to make money doing it in the future. It doesn't really matter to fix the facade on a national bank when it's getting bankrupt. Maybe we should focus on the institutional uh, level. Um, a good friend, rounding up, Jakob Bartolin called me uh, the other night, and he's been knowing me since uh, primary school. And he said, well, there's a red line through all of your life surface, and I suddenly see it. And I was listening, whoa, that red line I'm so, sometimes searching for. And I said, well, I, I'm not completely without a red line in my own head. And he said, no, it's striking me. It's, 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 it's a clear red line. And he said, well, when you were seven years, uh, I came to play with you in the first class. And uh, after school, we went to your place. We always went to my place because I had the biggest Lego gathering of bricks. And um, opposed to many of my friends, I had some hippie parents, so I didn't have to clean up my room, not at least every day. So it was one big playground of Lego. And he said, well, 
that's so funny you don't see that because you've been playing with, at that time it was Mona Lego, the Moon Lego series. It was the exciting stuff. Uh, and here you are 35 years later and you're going to make a big conference with business leaders from all the big companies and God damn it, we're going to play with Lego again. That's a clear red line. And I said, well, I have to admit, you know me a little bit better than I know myself, probably. So thanks for that, uh, Jakob. I tried to get a picture of that room in the 70s in Odense. It doesn't exist. My mother didn't have one picture of our Lego samples, and that's amazing because that's where we spent most of our times as kids. So instead, I brought a picture here of, well, you can't really see her, but that's my bonus daughter and her school sweetheart. Um, and they're building, they're actually rebuilding, for, because also rebuilt logos need to be rebuilt when you break them, when you transport them. Um, I want to send a thought to a great guy in Holbeck um, who built this logo for us. We crashed it, and I had to bring the kids in to rebuild it. Um, and, well, it's here. They made it. Great work, kids. So that's about it. Um, I hope you're going to leave tomorrow super inspired. And we always leave super inspired from conferences. And then we go home and go back to our companies and we experience that things are going the exact same way. The balance scorecard is calibrated the exact same way. The boss is the exact same person. So I hope we're going to have you all leaving super inspired, but also with a lot of stuff that we can share with the rest of the world. So think of this as a playground. And I just wish to welcome you all. We are going to have great days, great people great breakout sessions, so uh, warm welcome.